Heroes, it's your boy Win with Thay, back again with another street report from the multiverse. Hell yeah, number 11, X title. You know how we do a thing about comics, all right? We gonna give you these X books. We gonna give it to you, okay? That's gonna happen. All right, now, let's get to it. Number one, Arcade. Hey, look, fan favorite, great villain, love him. Woohoo, do I love him? I love him. You know why? Because my boy is very creative. He's very, very creative. I love his character. Okay, so he got the aliens all wrapped up. He got Mastermind messing with their head. He working whole shop. We even got our boy Sinister a little involved in this. Sinister always going to be dirty. And let me please stress this. Sinister is always going to be dirty. But, beautiful enough, look, we got Psylocke dealing with her issues. We got, matter of fact, we got everybody encapsulated in this, this realm where Mastermind is utilizing and pushing them to their ultimate levels. And I love it. Look, here's the deal, though. And this is what I really do believe. An issue here with the Hellions is how do you get these guys that were villains to not only believe that they could be heroes, but, but, curve the line a little bit where they like uh, anti-heroes, okay? Hey, it's been working, okay? It has been working. All right, these are agents of Krakoa, but this is like the Dirty Dustin, okay? He's, hey, this is like the Suicide Squad, all right? This, this is who these guys is, all right? The deal here is simple. How do we make these guys relevant? And this is how we make them relevant. We put them through hell as a team. And I'm telling you, they going through the business right here. This is the building blocks for making them not just a great team, but not just a great team, but a more, how do I want to say, violent team? Maybe more bloodthirsty, maybe. I don't know. Straight mercenaries? I don't want to go mercenaries. Let's just, let's just say they going to be the hitters. They going to be the hitters. I think in the future for Krakoa. These these guys right here, they gonna be they gonna be them people that yo. I really wanna put that thumb on you. No, it ain't X Force. It's gonna be the Marauders. I mean, I mean the Hellions. So, hey look. Great episode, great comic. Art was fantastic. Story is going by beautifully. We know it's getting ready to roll into uh the gala. So, hey look. We know all these comics are connected. And wait a minute. Just for everybody to understand this. It doesn't mean that because they're not in an event that these comics aren't connected. They are. Remember, we get a reading order. We get a reading order every issue. Why? Because these comics are all connected. They are all connected, okay? All of them. So, the gala, even though it's a cross event through all the comics, nah, <laughs> everything's cross connected through all the comics, okay? They all look the same thing. They all trying to break down a story that's being wonderfully told. Yes, it is. It is. On what more McTaggart has seen and gave Magneto and Xavier. All right? All this is playing out. And the beautiful thing. Oh, the beautiful thing is. Not only has the other Marvel events that have touched the X-Men also been made relevant. Everything still is going along as planned. Kudos. Kudos. I'm telling you. Hey, look. Pick this up. So how this shoe is good to go. It's deep. It's rich. And, whoo-hoo, arcade. 
best form, players. Best form. All right. So, with that being said, hey, look, I need y'all to be safe out there, okay? Hey, it's your boy Wimp there. Peace.